Ever wonder what pro wrestling training is really like? Well, today we're talking everything from preparation to experience to recovery. Frank answers from someone who just began training in professional wrestling. And it's all coming up next. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. If you are passionate about pro wrestling and you're never done learning about this weird, wonderful thing we all love, you're in the exact right place. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe right now. Today, I want to give you a real look into what pro wrestling training is like for someone just starting out, because Scott Kettner just started out. In fact, he just went through his first two days of professional wrestling training. And these two days were a little unlike most. On your first few days in the ring, you might spend 90 minutes or two hours training. But Scott went through something more akin to an intensive or a boot camp. Day one and day two, they were each nine hours long. And he's going to talk about his experience, the challenges, the recovery process, and everything else. And that conversation is right now. So you just finished your first two days of training in the ring. Tell me and everybody else, what was the hardest part of the training for you? Um, well, first of all, I think it was an amazing experience. And if uh, you do have any ambition in terms of wrestling or any types of performance, you should give it a try because it does expand your horizon. But I would say the hardest part would just be getting used to taking bumps on the body um you really can't teach that unless you have in ring experience so i think that was the hardest thing for me to be honest with you and, and learning to recover from it mm -hmm. so real quick then let's talk about your recovery a little bit yeah. what was that like for you you know a day after two days after what was your body feeling like it, it wasn't as hard as what it sounds to be honest with you especially with the technique you taught um I mean, yeah, you should have like hydration supplements and like uh, make sure you're eating clean and things of that nature. But um, it wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. Like when the most important thing is you're going to be burning a lot of calories because right. it was like nine hours of conditioning. Mm -hmm. So I basically like I'm not sure if you remember, but we would just have a fruit smoothie like for lunch, which would be enough. And then I would have to make sure that all my calories were after the training session. That way, you know, you're taking 50 to 60 bumps a day, running into the ropes. And it's like, you don't want all that food in you, if that makes sense. Right. Yeah. You don't, yeah. your stomach is full and you yeah. start bumping around the ring. Yeah. Disaster. And then like, just make sure you like stretch, foam roll. Um, you know, like I remember one night afterwards, I just took like a longer walk before um, I would go to bed just to stretch out, but like, it really wasn't that tough. Like it was hard. Don't get me wrong. And it was a great experience, but it wasn't as hard on the body as what I was expecting. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you could go back to before the two days of training, do you think you would have prepared any differently now that you know what the experience was like, or you think, no, I'd have approached it the same. I, I would have approached it the same. Obviously, like I said, the the taking the hits would be something you can't get taught unless you're there. Right. But, um, you know, I hired a personal trainer for six months where I just did oh, wow. a bunch of, yeah, a bunch of uh, cardio and like, like some people think like, oh, I'll just hit the gym and stuff like that. And then like in wrestling, it's like, yeah, you got to look that part and everything. But, you know, like, the biggest thing was cardio. It was like nine hours for two days and it was nine hours and nine hours, um, two day training. And it was pretty ambitious. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I mean, like, you know, like make sure that you're doing, you know, battle ropes, tire flips, like sprints, um, a lot of calisthenics, like body weight training, because that's, what's really going to help. Like, I remember like, um, like when we did the one move where it was going into the turnbuckle and then you had to lift up and then go back in. And it's like, that's all core and body weight. And it's like, so it's be prepared for conditioning, conditioning, conditioning. And then like, you should be fine. But yeah. Yeah. I think I, think I did pretty good preparing for it. Hopefully. Right. 
No, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, right. You definitely, and that's part of why I wanted to hear about your own experience, right? Because you came in being about as prepared as I've ever heard of someone being prepared to start training. Oh, so that's, yeah. that's really interesting to hear. And for the sake of anybody who's watching right now and they're on the fence, they're a little hesitant to start pro wrestling training for any number of reasons. What would you want them to know, having just been through your first two days of training? I think like if they're already if they're already like hesitant on jumping in or not, it's clear that they do have the ambition for it. And I was sort of on the fence too. And I think there's two things. One is it's either self doubt or um, sorry, but like the second part is like you just got to do it because you're clearly interested in it. So like. The self-doubt part, like, I have that every now and then, and you kind of just have to, like, be comfortable in your own skin and give it a try, and whether it is for you or whether it's not for you, but most likely it will be for you, especially with your training, because, like, I was, it, it was really funny. With your training, I was comfortable. I, did, I felt safe, like, a safe environment and everything like that, and, like, the confidence that you gave me was really good like all right so this is the move let's see what you got and in your head like me personally it's like okay i'm gonna do it and then i did it and then you're like oh cool that was almost it but we gotta do it like this and it's like really i just jumped over a guy into a somersault and then land <laughs> flat on my black back and it worked but um no i think um Anyone looking into coaching should definitely see you because well, thank you. you're a very, very good coach. And um, thank you. part of it is definitely like that confidence building. And that's kind of what you need to succeed in the business any or anything in life. Yeah. Right. And wrestling yeah. especially. Yeah. So definitely. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. My thanks to Scott for making time to discuss his whirlwind experience inside the squared circle with us. And you can follow Scott. I put a link to his Instagram down below in the descriptus. In addition to which, he has said if anyone watching this has questions they need answered about pro wrestling training, he'd be happy to talk with you. Shoot him a message over on the gram. Scott will get back to you. He's a great guy. Appearing on screen right now is my playlist all about year one in professional wrestling. Let's do a deep dive into your apprentice phase. And there is also a link appearing on screen, which will take you over to my Patreon. Come and join our community.